Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your November 20th through November 26th weekly love reading. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. This isn't a private reading, so it might not resonate with you. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. <clears throat> I will zoom this in when I get done laying out the cards. Okay. Well, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? I think that's pretty good. All right, so the basis of your reading is the Nine of Cups, all right? So that's about your wishes. That's about your wishes. This week is about fulfilling your wishes. All right, there's been some grief. There's been some grief. There's been some heartache. There's been some suffering. And you can't ignore it, okay? You can't ignore the hurt that you're feeling, the, the feeling of grief that's going through your, your mind at this time, okay? There's some grief that many of you are going through, and you're trying to block it out. You are. You're just trying to block it out any way possible. Just let's just block out this pain that I'm feeling, um, and it feels you know there's some depression. It's it's deep down, but you're pretty good at masking it. Okay, I can see the mask, um, and I feel like you know it's time for you to really open up. All right, it's time for you to take a practical approach. It's time for you to be yourself. All right, take action. Take action. Realize that your future isn't, you know, your future is beautiful at all times. You have the ability to have your wishes fulfilled. You do. Wish fulfillment, wish fulfillment. And this is a gift from above. This is the Ace of Pentacles. When the Ace of Pentacles comes out, it is a a gift from above of security and stability. It can be something on a tangible level. Usually it is something, you know, that you can actually feel. All right. So it could be a partnership. It could be money. It could be a gift. But it is something that is tangible. So this week you could be giving given something, you know, on a physical level. And it could be something you've been wishing for. Now, this is intended to be a love reading, but I had to throw that out there because it's pretty prominent that somebody may be receiving a gift of something tangible, all right? But that doesn't um, fix the suffering. That doesn't fix the heart problem, okay? I feel like right now you're only concentrating, you're not concentrating on love. Okay, because of your past hurt, because of your your heart, your your suffering, your because of your suffering, you're concentrating on your money situation. You know what I mean? Um, right now, you're thinking that your future is more about <clears throat> your financial security. All right, I don't see a lot of love here. I mean, the well, the only cups we have are the nine of cups and the three of cups. And I don't consider that to be a loving situation. I feel like this is also an ego card. So, and with this, this right here, I mean, I can, and I can see that you're concentrating on your work. You're concentrating on everything but love at this point. It's like you're not really into the lovey-dovey kind of mood. You, you're looking at life this week, and as. Um, through the eyes of security and stability and 
that kind of thing. There's not a lot of new love coming in. There's not a lot of raw emotion going out. There's more of a blocking of emotion going on. That's what I see. And I feel like there's there's some depression because of it. Yeah, we do have the Queen of Cups too, but this this can be a very depressed energy. And with these other cards, I can see that it is. You know, I can see that it is. That it's, you're concentrating on stuff other than love this week, okay? I feel like perhaps some of you are celebrating your love for yourself. You know what I mean? You're celebrating um, the, your, that your hard work has paid off, but it's not in love, okay? It's not, you know, you're celebrating via your financial growth. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to say. You're, you're stable, you're secure, you're happy about that. Okay, so I, do, I just don't feel like you're really, love is not really prominent this week. It's not. You're, you're looking at, you're thinking about everything but love. That's what I'm trying to say. I feel like you've had some serious challenges in love and that's why that isn't, that's not at the forefront. That's not, you're not even concentrating on it. And that's what I see. It's just not at the top of the list this week. It's not. I think that materialistic, financial security, financial stability uh, is at the top of the list, okay? I do feel like um, there's a lesson here. There is a lesson with the world card, and it has to do with you not ignoring a situation. It feels like you are ignoring love, and that's a lesson you need to learn. You've been hurt. You've been hurt. So you are ignoring love. You're ignoring. It's like, you know what? I don't, I don't need this anymore. So there's a lesson that needs to be learned that you need to forgive. Because this is forgiveness. You need to forgive. And you need to take action. But I don't think you're quite ready yet. I don't. I don't think you're ready. Because I see that you're very much concentrated on everything but love. You've been so hurt. You feel like you may be feeling like, you know, I don't need this shit in my life. I really don't need it. And you may have started cutting people out. Like seriously, cutting people out of your life. I'm going to start shuffling. It just feels like there's a lot of um, tense um, tense restless energy, you know. But it's not really restless. I mean, it is, but it isn't. There is depression here. Somebody is depressed. And I'm not sure which one of you that's watching this. Somebody's depressed because there's there's too much tension. There's too much tension and you're trying to block it out. You're trying to block it out and you're trying to block out past her. All right. And you block it out best by burying your mind and your energy into something else which would probably be your work by the looks of things. You know, if I, if I concentrate on this and bury myself in this, then I really don't have to think about that. I don't have to think about that hurt. I don't have to think about that suffering I went through, that grief, that, you know, the regrets that I have over this and that. You know, if I just bury myself elsewhere, I won't have to think about that. And I think that's what's really going on. Um, anyway, I'm going to start shuffling this deck. You have to learn to forgive. Lesson, forgive. You have to learn to forgive, okay? You're only hurting yourself by not forgiving others. You can't ignore problems forever. This is ignoring. You cannot. It will affect your future. It will. If you cannot block things out forever, all right? It will affect your wishes being fulfilled. I think your wishes are being fulfilled financially. You're working. You're a hard, hard, hard worker. Hard worker. You know? And, and that's the best way for you to hide the hurt is to bury it in your work. You are very successful. And you're really concerned with what society thinks. 
That's what this guy does. Very concerned. It's time to have an awakening. This is a forgiveness card as well. It's a wake-up call. You can't keep ignoring a situation. You are ignoring something. And it's causing you to be depressed. It is. And you can, you can get angry about it all you want, but that's not going to help the situation. All right? It's time to master your emotions. And you can be on the outside, you can be fine. But on the inside, you're not. It's time to master your emotions on the inside. Forgiveness is key. Forgiveness, forgiveness in both of these cards. It's a time for you to wake up. This is a wake-up call. You can't keep ignoring this situation anymore. Something needs to change. Something needs to happen. You need to take action. Stop procrastinating. You have to act out of love, like this one does. It's time to act out of love and not spite. There's spiteful energy here. I'm not sure it's you, but there's spiteful energy here. I don't know if it's you or another person, but you have to change it. You have to look at things from another perspective, okay? Look at things from another perspective. Spite, love. Spite, new perspective, love. Okay? You need to change your direction. Okay? Somebody needs to change their direction. And it's not going to be easy. It takes hard work. And I know that you can do it because you're, you are a hard worker. You're a hard worker. Perhaps you need to be more friendly because this card is about friends as well. Somebody needs to be more friendly and open. It's time for a change. There's too much tension. Like I said earlier, there's too much tension. It was too tense, remember? Let go of it. Walk away from the tension. You, The tension's on you, by the way. You can't blame anybody else for this tension. You can walk away from it at any time. You just release it. It's, this is a wake-up call. It's a wake-up call. It's an epiphany and an awakening to forgive. And don't worry about what society thinks. Don't worry about, see, you may be feeling like you lose the control when you forgive, because forgive is underneath again. This is forgive. You may feel like when you forgive, you, you've let your power go. You've let your control go. That's not the case. When you forgive, when you forgive, and you let go of the need to control, that's when your hopes and wishes will be fulfilled. That's when you will start feeling secure and stable again. There's power struggles here. There's power struggles. Why? What are these power struggles? There's a lot of conflicts here. It's time to let go. Spiteful, new perspective, love. Let go of any spiteful, revengeful, 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 vindictive energies that you may be feeling towards another person. Even if they've stabbed you in the back, let it go. That's your lesson. That's the lesson. When you can let that stuff go and stop just pretending. When you can make a change. Twos are about change. When you can make a change. You can't expect the other person to do it. You have to do it. When you can make a change, the lesson has been learned. And that's when your new phase starts. This world card comes out to say, 
a major lesson has been learned and now it's time to start a new phase of your life. Long-term phase. But it, it hasn't happened yet for many of you because you, the change has not happened, okay? Change is scary, okay? You need to let go of the old. Let go of the old thoughts. Let go of the old perspective. It's time to bring in the new you. Put yourself in the driver's seat and let your transformation begin. Replace your fear with mental strength. Replace your fear with faith. You're, you will not fail because you don't let yourself fail. If you want to change, all you have to do is set your mind on it and it will happen because you do not quit. The thing is, is you have to let go of the need to control. That's part of the lesson. The need to control. That's part of the lesson. And I'm sorry to tell you that. You need to change your need to control to learn this lesson. I'm going to get you one of these angel romance cards and then I'm going to get you one of the angel guidance cards and see what comes up Capricorn. This is what needs to happen. Don't worry about this card, this right up here. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Do that. Do it. Amidst your hurt, forget about the past. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Do it. When you do that, you will heal. And that does and that means that just I wish this didn't say flirt. It should say be kind. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Do it. Everybody. That's when things change. Ooh. The first card is flirt, which we said already. I don't like that. I think it should say be kind. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Period. That's when you grow. Steady progress. We acknowledge you for the progress you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. The progress you've made. Keep doing it. We acknowledge you for the progress you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. Keep doing it. That raises your vibration. So this is what I have for you, Capricorn. I believe this is a reading for singles, okay? It could be for couples. Bits and pieces could be for couples. I'm not sure. I'm really not. Whoever this resonates with, that's the way it goes. All right? I do see some power struggles, and I see some inner conflicts. And I see that you're focusing on everything but love, focusing on your adventure other than love, you know? And my ear is ringing at this point like really strongly one ear it just started but anyway there's a lesson to be learned 
and it has to do with love. Talk to you later, Capricorn.